Welcome, fellow enthusiasts of celebrity insights and the intriguing world of the rich and famous. Today, we delve into the captivating narrative surrounding the multi-talented Brandy Norwood, an icon whose legacy extends beyond the stage and screen. In this exclusive exploration, we'll unravel the layers of Brandy's life, shining a spotlight on her relationships, offering a glimpse into her luxurious abode, cruising through the impressive collection of cars that grace her garage, and, of course, delving into the intricacies of her remarkable net worth. All the details you need are right here in this video. Let's dive in now. Brandy Norwood, a versatile American talent, has made her mark as an actress, R&B singer, songwriter, and record producer, boasting a noteworthy net worth of $15 million. At the young age of 14, Brandy inked a deal with Atlantic Records, setting the stage for a remarkable journey in the music industry. Her debut album, released in 1994, not only showcased her prodigious talent but also achieved quadruple platinum certification in the US additionally, Brandy charmed audiences for six seasons as the lead in the UPN network sitcom, Moesha, solidifying her status as a multifaceted entertainer. Brandy Rihanna Norwood, born on February 11, 1979, in Macomb, Mississippi, emerges as a multifaceted artist shaped by her rich familial and geographical background. Hailing from a musically inclined family, her father, Willie Norwood, a gospel singer and choir director, and her mother, Sonia Norwood, a district manager for H&R Block, provided the foundation for Brandy's early exposure to the world of music. In the embrace of her father's local church choir, Brandy discovered her vocal prowess, delivering her inaugural gospel solo at a tender age of two. The Norwood family embarked on a pivotal journey, relocating to Los Angeles in 1983, a move that would prove instrumental in Brandy's artistic evolution. In the heart of the entertainment capital, she honed her skills at the Hollywood High School Performing Arts Center, setting the stage for a remarkable trajectory in the realms of singing, acting, and beyond. Notably, Brandy is not alone in her illustrious family tree, as she shares familial ties with singer and actor Ray J, along with renowned cousins in the form of rapper Snoop Dogg and WWE wrestler Sasha Banks. Despite being immersed in a family where melodies were a way of life, Brandy's personal journey took a defining turn at the age of seven when she discovered and became an avid fan of the iconic Whitney Houston. This revelation ignited a spark within her, propelling her towards a trajectory of independent musical exploration. As her passion solidified, Brandy ventured into talent shows at the tender age of 11, showcasing her burgeoning talent on various platforms. At the same age, she found herself contributing as a background singer with the R&B boy band Immature, marking her entry into the professional music realm. Remarkably, at the age of 11, Brandy, with the unwavering support of her parents, embarked on the creation of a demo tape, a pivotal step that paved the way for her signing with Atlantic Records in 1993. The commitment to her burgeoning career was not solely Brandy's own, her mother, Sonia Norwood, made a significant sacrifice by leaving her job to manage her daughter's rising trajectory in the music industry. This familial dedication underscores the collaborative effort behind Brandy's ascent. However, such a commitment came with its share of challenges, leading Brandy to make the decision to depart from Hollywood High School after her freshman year. Undeterred, she pursued her education with private tutors, showcasing a determination to balance her academic pursuits with the demands of her burgeoning career. While crafting her debut album, Brandy also ventured into the world of sitcoms, gracing the screen as the daughter of a single mother in Thea, a show where comedian Thea Vidal played a central role. Though the sitcom's lifespan was brief, enduring only a single season, Brandy's performance earned her a Young Artists Award nomination for Outstanding Youth Ensemble. The heartbeat of Brandy's burgeoning career resonated strongly with the release of her self-titled debut album, a labor of love that spanned eight months. The album, unveiled to the world in September 1994, received acclaim from both critics and audiences alike. A discerning music journalist aptly likened Brandy's voice to a lower-key Janet Jackson and a stripped-down Mary J. Blige, highlighting the distinctive quality that set her apart in the musical landscape. The impact of Brandy's debut extended far beyond mere reviews, as evidenced by its chart performance. Peaking at number 20 on the US Billboard 200, the album's resonance echoed globally, surpassing 6 million copies in sales. Within its musical tapestry, three chart-topping hits emerged on the Billboard Hot 100, I Wanna Be Down, Baby, and the soulful duet, Broken Hearted, with Boys Two Men's Wayna Morris. The former two ascended to the pinnacle of the Hot R&B Singles Chart, while the latter secured the number two spot, 
solidifying Brandy's presence in the hearts of music enthusiasts. Accolades and recognition continued to shower upon Brandy, with Grammy nominations for Best New Artist and Best Female R&B Vocal Performance marking her indelible impact on the industry. The ensuing year saw her adorned with four Soul Train Music Awards, two Billboard Awards, and the esteemed New York Children's Choice Award, underscoring not only her musical prowess but also her resonance across diverse audiences. In 1995, she embarked on a significant musical journey, gracing stages as the opening act for the renowned Boys Two Men. Simultaneously, Brandy showcased her versatility as a songwriter, contributing her penmanship to the soundtracks of blockbuster movies such as Batman Forever and Waiting to Exhale. The year 1996 emerged as a pivotal chapter in Brandy's narrative, marked by both acting and musical endeavors. Collaborating with music legends Gladys Knight, Chaka Khan, and Tamiya on the heartfelt, Missing You, for the film, set it off, Brandy earned a Grammy nomination for Best Pop Collaboration with Vocals, a testament to her ability to seamlessly navigate various genres. Simultaneously, Brandy embraced the small screen, taking on the titular role in the sitcom, Moesha. Premiering on UPN in January 1996, the show resonated with audiences for six seasons, portraying a young girl from LA navigating the complexities of adolescence and family dynamics, notably her relationship with her stepmother. Brandy's portrayal earned her an NAACP Image Award for Outstanding Youth Actor, Actress, further solidifying her status as a versatile entertainer. In 1998, Brandy ventured back into the music realm with the release of her second album, Never Say Never. The album's magnum opus came in the form of the duet, The Boy Is Mine, featuring Monica. This collaboration marked a milestone in Brandy's career, securing her first number one song on the US Billboard Hot 100. The song's success soared, spending an impressive 13 weeks at the top of the charts, ultimately clinching a Grammy Award for Best R&B Performance by a duo or group with vocal. Notably, The Boy Is Mine etched its place in history as the most successful song by a female duo. In 2002, she invited audiences into her personal life through the reality series, Brandy, Special Delivery, providing an intimate lens into the birth of her daughter. Simultaneously, Brandy's musical journey saw the release of her third and fourth albums, Full Moon, 2002, and Aphrodisiac, 2004, both met with critical acclaim and commercial success, showcasing her enduring prowess in the music industry. Venturing into the realm of television, Brandy assumed the role of a judge on the inaugural season of America's Got Talent, adding a new dimension to her multifaceted career. However, the release of her fifth album, Human, 2008, faced commercial challenges, underscoring the unpredictable nature of the entertainment industry. A pivotal year for Brandy unfolded in 2010, marked by her spirited participation in the 11th season of Dancing with the Stars, where she partnered with Maxim Chemerkovsky and secured a commendable fourth-place finish. Concurrently, she embraced reality television once again with Brandy and Ray J, a family business, providing audiences with a glimpse into her familial dynamics. The following years witnessed Brandy's seamless integration into scripted television, as she became a series regular in the Bet series, The Game, in 2012. Her sixth album, 211, released the same year, garnered critical praise, showcasing the artist's ability to adapt and innovate within the ever-evolving music landscape. In a groundbreaking move, Brandy made her Broadway debut in April 2015, gracing the stage in the musical, Chicago. Her theatrical prowess added yet another dimension to her artistic repertoire, further solidifying her status as a dynamic entertainer. The year 2016 brought Brandy back to the small screen, where she not only starred in but also executive produced the Bet sitcom, Zoe Ever After. Premiering in January, the show reflected her versatility not only as a performer but also as a creative force behind the scenes. In November 2023, Brandy Norwood, a seasoned artist with a storied career, presented her eighth studio album, a festive offering titled Christmas with Brandy. This musical endeavor showcased her versatility through a compilation of six original songs and six cover versions of beloved Christmas standards. Notably, this project marked Brandy's return to major labels, as she inked a deal with Motown Records in June 2022. The album's impact reverberated on the charts, securing a notable position in the top 30 on the US Top Holiday Albums chart. A testament to Brandy's enduring appeal and the resonance of her holiday-themed musical creations. Beyond the realm of music, Brandy's artistic pursuits extended to the silver screen, with an intriguing role in A24's 
The Front Room. This upcoming psychological thriller, directed by Max and Sam Eggers, is poised to captivate audiences in 2024, featuring Brandy in a central role. And with so much success, it's no surprise that she also owns a lot of valuable real estate, which we invite you to explore below. Mansion in Hidden Hills, California. As an accomplished artist, Brandy Norwood's financial acumen is evident in her strategic investments in real estate over the years. In 1999, she acquired a substantial 6,000-square-foot residence in the affluent Hidden Hills, California, making a savvy purchase at $2,500,000. Demonstrating her keen sense of the market, Brandy sold this property in 2004 for $3,500,000, showcasing both a profitable investment and a shrewd understanding of the real estate landscape. Continuing her foray into the world of upscale residences, Brandy made a significant move in 2006 by acquiring an expansive 8,000-square-meter mansion nestled in the prestigious Beverly Hills. This acquisition, marked by a $6,900,000 investment. However, the real estate journey unfolds with its own dynamics, and in 2020, Brandy made a strategic decision to part ways with this mansion, selling it for $4,600,000. Mansion in Calabasas, California, current housing, this villa, with a living area encompassing 6,900 square feet, has been her abode since 2015. A property initially valued at $1,400,000 has now ascended to a current estimated value of $2,200,000, underscoring the investment and care Brandy has devoted to her living space. Constructed in 1999, this residential haven boasts a total of 12 rooms, including five bedrooms, three kitchens, three bathrooms, and a generously sized living room, totaling approximately 6,900 square feet of usable space. Through glimpses shared on Brandy's Instagram, it's evident that she understands the impact of lighting fixtures in shaping the ambiance of a room. Lighting not only illuminates a space but serves as a stylistic element, an observation made apparent as Brandy showcased her dance moves with daughter Syrai Smith in the high-ceiling foyer of her mansion. The foyer itself is a spectacle, featuring soaring ceilings, a dramatic spiral staircase, and an ornate modern gothic chandelier. The diamond-shaped fixture, suspended from an exquisite oval ceiling medallion, adds a touch of opulence to the space. Brandy's home, though rarely unveiled to the public, reveals glimpses of neutral colors and a fusion of traditional meets modern gothic-style furnishings, exemplified by a Renaissance-style armchair. Beyond the interior allure, the exterior of Brandy's villa paints a picture of tranquility and balance. With verdant rows of trees, a swimming pool, and beehives, the outdoor space mirrors a harmonious living environment, showcasing an intentional blend of nature and modern living. While Brandy's current residence may not boast the extravagant price tags of some fellow celebrities, it radiates a wonderful atmosphere that reflects her success and artistic achievements throughout her illustrious career. As fans catch glimpses into Brandy Norwood's living space, it becomes apparent that her home is not merely a dwelling but a canvas where success, talent, and personal style seamlessly converge. Wow, this is really a very beautiful villa, isn't it, my audience? Cars. In Brandy Norwood's impressive collection of vehicles, the Range Rover Sport in sleek black stands out as a symbol of luxury and performance. The Range Rover Sport is renowned for its powerful engine and off-road capabilities. The black exterior exudes sophistication, while the interior is designed with meticulous attention to comfort and cutting-edge technology. To own this car you need to prepare an amount of about $121,000. Amidst Brandy's fleet of automobiles, the Ferrari California 2010 in pristine white emerges as a captivating choice that combines style with high-performance engineering. The Ferrari California is celebrated for its convertible design and dynamic driving experience. In white, this Italian masterpiece exudes a timeless elegance, making a bold statement wherever it goes. Brandy's ownership of the Ferrari California showcases a penchant for the extraordinary, as she effortlessly merges glamour with the exhilaration that comes with driving a Ferrari. This car costs about $115,000. Another jewel in Brandy's automotive collection is the Mercedes-Benz S-Class S550 in a sophisticated black hue. The Mercedes S550 is synonymous with opulence, offering a blend of cutting-edge technology, comfort, and a commanding presence on the road. The black exterior of Brandy's S550 exudes a sense of understated luxury, while the interior is crafted with precision and indulgence. Through the choice of the Mercedes-Benz S550 in black, 
Brandy aligns herself with a vehicle that embodies both performance and refined elegance. This one has a current price of about $95,000. In Brandy's diverse lineup, the Jeep Wrangler in bold black represents a departure from the luxury sedans and sports cars. The Jeep Wrangler is an iconic off-road vehicle known for its rugged capabilities and distinctive design. Brandy's choice of the black Jeep Wrangler not only adds a touch of versatility to her collection but also speaks to a spirit of adventure. Whether navigating city streets or exploring off-the-beaten-path terrains, the black Jeep Wrangler complements Brandy's lifestyle with its blend of toughness and style. This one has a current price of about $43,000. Brandy Norwood's automotive choices not only reflect her individual style and taste but also showcase a diverse appreciation for vehicles that span luxury, performance, and adventure. Which car in her collection do you like? Please comment below. My audience Brandy Norwood is more than just a talented and beautiful woman. She also possesses an extremely warm heart as she has participated in many charitable activities over the years. With a total donation estimated at more than $1 million. Philanthropy. In 1996, alongside her brother Ray J, she established the Norwood Kids Foundation, an initiative rooted in the belief that performing arts can be a catalyst for shaping youth into self-confident, disciplined, responsible, and caring individuals. This foundation, born out of a passion for empowering the younger generation, serves as a testament to Brandy's commitment to nurturing the potential within each child. In 1999, Brandy assumed the role of the first international spokesperson for youth by joining hands with UNICEF, a position that further solidified her role as a global advocate for the well-being of young people. This alliance highlighted Brandy's belief in the transformative power of collective action to address the needs of children worldwide. The breadth of Brandy's philanthropic endeavors extends beyond borders, as evidenced by her avid support for organizations such as the Make-A-Wish Foundation and RAIN. These partnerships underscore her holistic approach to philanthropy, addressing diverse needs within communities and championing causes that resonate with her values. Brandy's impact reverberates locally as well, exemplified by her generous donation of $100,000 in 2000. This entertainment community center, founded by singer and actor Tyrese Gibson, serves the underprivileged community of Watts in Los Angeles, reflecting Brandy's commitment to uplifting and enriching the lives of those in underserved areas. The year 2008 saw Brandy aligning herself with Skechers' Nothing Compares to Family campaign, a testament to her belief in the significance of family bonds and unity. This collaboration reflected not only her endorsement of a renowned brand but also her alignment with values that prioritize the importance of familial connections. In 2010, Brandy embraced the digital realm of education by becoming involved with Get Schooled, a national nonprofit organization leveraging mobile phone calls by celebrities to wake up students for school. This innovative approach showcased Brandy's adaptability in utilizing technology for educational advocacy, acknowledging the role of celebrities in inspiring and motivating the younger generation. Furthering her commitment to maternal health, Brandy teamed up with Text for Baby in 2014, an initiative delivering health and wellness information to expecting mothers via text messages. Simultaneously, she assumed the role of an honorary co-chairman for the 2014 Unstoppable Foundation, a commitment that aligned with her broader vision of fostering positive change on a global scale. In 2018, Brandy's dedication to public health continued as she participated in a PSA for the American Heart Association and hands-only CPR. This collaboration with fellow cast members from Chicago The Musical underscored her commitment to raising awareness about life-saving measures. In traversing the landscape of Brandy Norwood's philanthropic journey, it becomes evident that her impact transcends the realms of music and entertainment. Her involvement with a diverse array of causes showcases not only her compassion but also her strategic approach to addressing societal needs. She is truly wonderful and deserves more love from us, doesn't she, my audience? Personal life Although she is a rich and famous woman, her personal life is quite complicated and a bit sad, we invite you to take a look below. In 1996, a young Brandy had a brief relationship with the future Los Angeles Lakers player, Kobe Bryant. This whirlwind connection reached a notable point when she accompanied him to his high school prom at Lower Marion High School in Ardmore, Pennsylvania, offering a glimpse into the world where celebrity and personal experiences intersect. Her romantic history also included dating Boys Two Men lead singer, Wanya Morris, whom she fondly referred to as her first love. However, their age difference, with Morris being over five years older, led to their separation a month before Brandy's 19th birthday. 
The dynamics of fame were evident in her brief connection with rapper Maze during their collaborative work on the Never Say Never album. The early 2000s brought a significant chapter in Brandy's personal life when, during the production of her album Full Moon in mid-2001, she became romantically involved with producer Robert, Big Bert, Smith. Despite initially keeping their relationship private, Brandy revealed in February 2002 that she was expecting her first child. However, a year after the birth of their daughter, Syrah Iman Smith, Brandy and Smith went their separate ways. The revelation that their union was not legally bound stirred media attention, with Smith disclosing that their apparent wedding was a facade to protect Brandy's public image. Brandy, in response, emphasized the spiritual commitment they shared, although later confirming Smith's statement and attributing their actions to societal expectations. In 2004, Brandy entered a relationship with NBA guard Quentin Richardson, who played for the Los Angeles Clippers at the time. The couple's engagement in July 2004 made headlines, yet Brandy ended their 14-month engagement in September 2005. Reports surfaced that she had to transform a tattoo of Richardson's face on her back into an image of a cat. Marking a unique twist in the aftermath of their separation, Brandy's romantic journey continued with a brief involvement with rapper Flo Rida in 2010. However, it was in 2012 that she became engaged to music executive Ryan Press. Despite the joyous occasion, their engagement met an end in April 2014 following their breakup earlier that year. Brandy Norwood's experiences with love and relationships unfold as a tapestry reflecting the complexities of navigating personal life under the spotlight. If Brandy's story resonates with you or if you have your insights to share, drop a comment below. Don't forget to hit the like button if you've enjoyed this journey with us. And for more engaging content on the lives of remarkable individuals, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay updated. To stay updated.